The things that do not invalidate wudu, wudu are numbered in the textbook with you. Number one is touching a person of the opposite gender. So if a man touches a woman or vice versa, this does not impact the wudu. If she's a mahram, then this is no problem. But if she's a stranger to him, an unmahram, this is sinful, but it doesn't break your wudu. The, ma the vast majority of scholars say that it doesn't break your wudu. Only Imam Shafi'i, the Shafi'i school, say that it does break your wudu. And why is that? Well, simply because the Imam Shafi'i went to the Quran and he found that there is an ayah which talks about wudu and about ghusl in Surah Al-Ma'idah, chapter 5. Allah Azza wa Jal says, Awla mastumun nisa. Imam Shafi'i took this word and he said, La mastum means to touch. The vast majority of schools of thought said, no, 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 this is not touching. This deals with intercourse. And this is what the sequence of Ayat al Wudu. Ya ayyuhalladina amanu ida qumtum ila salati faghsilu wujuhakum. The sequence of this ayah indicates that there are two types of ritual impurity, major and minor. The minor is lifted by performing wudu and the major is uplifted by performing ghusl. In the case of inability to use either one, uh, using water for either one, then you refer to dry ablution known as tayammum. And this awla mastumun nisa refers to having sexual intercourse. And the other reason is that the Prophet himself والسلام, used to kiss one of his wives and he used to go to the uh, 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 Salat without renewing his wudu. Urwa ibn Zubair, the nephew of uh, Mother Aisha, smiled and said, I bet she is, you are the one who he used to kiss and go to Salat without renewing his wudu and she used to smile. May Allah be pleased with her. And this is a clear indication it does not invalidate your wudu. The Shafi'i Madhab followers don't see it this way. And this is why it brings a lot of hardship to your life. When you are going around the Kaaba in Tawaf, and by mistake, it, it's so crowded, you touch women right, left, and center. Of course, without your intention. This invalidates your wudu, then what would I do? No, this hardship is not part of Islam. Having said that, yes, touching a woman, shaking hands with the, a woman who's not mahram to you is a sin. The Prophet said, والسلام, it is best for a man to be stabbed in his head with a needle of iron rather than touching a woman that is not permissible for him. So this is not something that any one of us would desire or want once they know the consequences over that.